what I want to demonstrate today is what I call the top-down meniscus repair. We've fenestrated the MCL. You can see we've got good access here. I'd highly recommend that. We'll penetrate the meniscus on the free inner edge from top to bottom, skive all the way along to place an initial anchor below the meniscus, and then we'll place a second meniscus anchor up here, and that will give us the compression that we need for these far peripheral undersurface tears. We've got our sled placed here, as you can see, underneath the meniscus. We're going to use a standard 12 degree curve. You can use 24 if you need to. I found that 24 is most advantageous on getting around the condyle. I want to penetrate the meniscus right near the inner free edge. In standard sort of uh, technique, you know, I, I tend to do like a good, slow, steady push, and I kind of wiggle, 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 and it allows me to advance. And then I'll just wiggle across, you know, bottom out, and then I'll deploy my first anchor. And then just wiggle back. So there you can see the sutures right there. So that's a perfect visualization of what this technique is. So I penetrated the inner free edge on the superior surface, and I came underneath, and then I passed the fiber stitch anchor inferior to the meniscus and then deployed the anchor on the inferior capsule, okay? So that's the first pass. And then the second pass is, is pretty straightforward and simple. You just come up here and just, same thing, just penetrate in, turn my hand up, and then just deploy the other anchor like that. And out I come. Here's a little pro tip um, for setting the fiber stitch anchor. So you've got the loop and you've got the free end. What we're going to do for the initial setting is we're just going to pinch all these together right here and we're going to pull and we're going to do that to set our anchors just like that. So now we've done that, just very simple move. And then we'll tension the first loop. So we'll get that set at the tension that we like. And there's that. Okay, and then we'll cut it just in, again, very standard fashion. Now you can see that suture underneath there. And you can see how it's, it's pierced on the inferior capsule and then right up top here. And that is going to give us a minimum five millimeter tissue bridge between the side of, of needle penetration and the tear, which is going to be typically back here in the red red zone. So this has become my standard for these undersurface, incomplete vertical tears of the posterior horn of the medial meniscus.